the best Premier League eleven, and this is right the, now. Listen, this I, isn't I based think... on form, is it? It's ba- this is based on the best eleven we'd send out to a, a competition. If yeah, we had to send it if out to, to a, if like a European Space Jam a Euro- happened, yeah, Space Jam, and yeah. people came down from space and yeah. they said to the Premier League, yeah, no, they said to the club, guys, listen, you guys have to choose the yeah. best Premier League eleven. Which is a team of robots, like so, we wouldn't go with you know who's been in form this season. There'd be mm. a few players that you could maybe squeeze into an 11 yeah. right now. This 11 would the... smash a team of robots. Easy. Yeah? Yeah. Chat GPT 11 would get smashed 5-0. 100%. Mm. By this, they had, it has to be good then. Do you yeah. know what? There, yeah. are, there are certain positions here, though. That there's just no debate, is there? Like, there is clearly a best goalkeeper in the league. If we're not making it about form at all, we're just, we just christening a particular player with the best in class in their position. There isn't really a conversation to be had. For example... No. If I start with the goalkeeper, Allison is the best goalkeeper in the league. Yeah, I easily. Think I think, can I guess the positions that we probably all match in? Goalkeeper, like you just said, mm-hmm. right winger, striker, and Whoa. two of the midfielders. And one centre half. And a centre half, yeah. yeah. And a centre half. Maybe two centre halves, actually. But the way we said that, I'm like, maybe it's a different centre back. You know, maybe that's the beauty of this video. No, mm. no. I think there's and about this five centre backs that could stake. Maybe six. But there's one. There is one jewel in the crown of the centre halves, isn't there? We could debate what. Well, well, let's get there. Let's get there. What colour does he wear? Red. Oh. Oh, let's have some Martinez. Issue. That's a big Who issue. Who would have thought it? Eh? <laughs> Who would have thought it? Uh, the right butcher. then. Let's, let, you, you already mentioned Alisson. Um, we we are obviously going to do our own 11s, but Alisson's in all of our 11s. So let's talk about Alisson. Why he's in our 11s? I think in terms of in terms of where Alisson ranks in the goalkeepers that are currently playing their playing their trade. It's, it isn't really a conversation. He's the best goalkeeper in the league by a distance. The reason why you can... An example to use to prove that he is that good is to simply look at where he would rank in the all-time goalkeeping eleven. Mm. Like, if you, were to, if you were to make a list of the best five goalkeepers to have ever played, I think Premier League era makes more sense just because that's where our knowledge is. Sorry to interrupt this clip. But do you want the chance to win £250,000? All you have to do is download Super 6 and you can be playing with Adam, Rory and myself predicting some football scores and winning a load of money. Click the link down below and obviously join our mini league, Club 23, on the app and you could be a whole lot richer. You could argue that he's what? Probably, possibly third best goalkeeper of... Well, I mean, some would argue... You could argue, yeah. I don't think he is, but you could make an argument. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, I mean look, some may make the argument that he is the best goalkeepers who have ever played in the Premier League. I wouldn't do that. For me, he would probably be third or fourth. He's Liverpool's best goalkeeper and that, you know, being Liverpool's best goalkeeper, one of the biggest clubs in the Premier League, yeah. He, obviously put Yeah, but there in, isn't much competition. There isn't really. You know, you, what are you doing? Pepe Reina. Pepe Reina. Pepe Reina. Pepe Reina, Pepe Reina yeah. Sander Vesterveld, Bruce Grobbler for a bit. Um, <laughs> That's true, you know. Yeah. He's definitely Liverpool's best goalkeeper yeah. of the Premier League era. Uh, Grobbler is probably second. He's the only one that kind of comes close. I'd say Pepe Reina. No, but that's no, not my no, experience. No, no. Dudek. He, he might be their best, but he was a terrible keeper, really. Was he? Yeah, no Pepe way. Pepe Reina was a terrible, Reina. terrible keeper. It's it a big word, terrible. It's a big, big... If, I, the, said, if I said you were terrible at something, that's, no, no, but with that, me, that's loaded. No, but you it, were it, terrible it's, it's on Doctor Who. He was, no, but it so wasn't... That's true. <laughs> but, but it's all, but it's all, he, he was like a terrible keeper. No, but it, uh, in terms of this, it's all relative, isn't it? He's not a terrible goalkeeper relative to every goalkeeper that's played in the Premier League. But we're talking about... He was top the five of the... When he played for Liverpool, he was top five in the league, that, in the seasons he played for Liverpool in the Premier League. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I don't yeah. think that's true. Yeah. I don't Did think I imagine true. he ended up... I mean, Chelsea point. would have had two better goalkeepers at the time. You know, it's... Mm. Carlo Ma- Man- and... Manchester United could easily have had two better goalkeepers Carlo at the time. Carlo Cudicini and... Check. Yeah. I'm not saying Cudicini's better than Pepe Reina. So I'm not having that. Come What's on. What's he? What? what are you joking? Come Carlo Cudicini was class, bro. Yeah, he was a good keeper. No, but, wait, yeah. you're joking. The you, you Pepe think... Reina's an underrated keeper. Very, very good keeper. Very, very good keeper. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to get distracted. I've got, I've got, I've got a picture with Carlo Cudicini. You were in the era before we, like, meeting footballer was a regular occurrence mm. for us. I met Carlo Cudicini. Yeah, at Liam Ridgewell and Gavin McCann once. Gavin McCann. In the Apple Shop. Mate, um, just, just for the record. Like Carlo Cudicini, no, he's a fantastic keeper. Yeah, like far. Yeah, but, no, far he was, we can't discredit Reina. Pepe Reina. He's when I, and also, when I say terrible, I'm, I'm saying terrible on the scale. Yeah, and the scale of what we're talking here. about. We're talking yeah, about the best course, goalkeepers yeah. in the but Premier who's League. Who's the competition for Allison then? Now, you only, Edison. only really yes. Ed, Edison has to be mentioned because he, the, the sheer amount of trophies he's won. He's, he's a treble winning mm. keeper, and I can still sit here and say that his shot stopping still has room to improve. Can I chuck a few out there then? Because I don't necessarily rate him. 
Everton probably wouldn't still be a Premier League club without him, Jordan Pickford. No, Jordan Pickford's a fantastic goalkeeper. Yeah, like he him. is. You're right. You're right to bring him up and acknowledge that he's brilliant. And to, just to demonstrate my terrible thing, Jordan Pickford, I think, is a fantastic goalkeeper and should start for England, no, no, no doubt. But compared to compared to Allison, it, it, no, yeah, yeah, you know, no, I'm just throwing name Nick Pope. No, 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 Adam. Let's. Well, this is a waste it's of time. Easy, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a waste. No, it is. We can't, easy, we can't compare. Post By the way, Allison yeah. is in mine, and I think that was one of the positions that I'm pretty sure. Might all be the easiest position in the whole. 11. It is. It's like when you do an all-time left back. You just go, okay, well, Ashley, Ashley Cole. Let's talk yeah, about other people. Else, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dennis Irwin. Let's talk about other <laughs> people. Let's move on to right back. I think this is another easy. Who position are the nominees? As well? Then we have got Trent Rhys James. Because remember, this isn't based on this. Rhys James doesn't even get nominated now. Trent Rhys The last calendar year. Because the last calendar year, man. It's the, he's basically missed a year of football, essentially, coming in and out. I, I love the guy. I think he's absolutely superb. But you've got to, you've got to give me evidence in the bank, mate. You've got to give me evidence. I think you've got to see something on paper. In, in, it's, in so the, difficult, it? it's so Three difficult years ago. To, to bring up a player that is just almost permanently injured. It's so difficult to argue. If you want to make the case on his day, maybe. But, but I, I will immediately dismiss any chat about Ledley King. You know, people go, Ledley King would be the best player if he wasn't injured. I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. well, he's injured, so move on. It's very difficult for me to now go, Reese James is a better player than Chant Alexander Arnold. You're like, well, prove it. How do you know that? There's a world he has a higher ceiling. Until we see that, then what we what we sat around and so talked about regular basis as well. Yeah, exactly. I think he's a superb player, mm. Reese James, and obviously a Champions League winner. But actually, with this one, I think this one is fairly open and shut as well. Uh, the right back, the best right back. I think that there is a world where some would like us to say Trent Alexander Arnold, but the answer is Carl Walker. Like it just is, isn't yeah. it? Like we can, we can explore it. And the other thing with Kyle Walker, they won they won a treble and there was talk of him maybe going to buy Munich, maybe needing a new challenge, maybe needing a lesser challenge, some were suggesting, you know, he's not he's not in in the prime of his career, at least by the, the number on his uh, on his birth certificate. But then you look at how he's played this season. He was a man possessed at the beginning of the season. Mm. Like, totally yeah, possessed. Yeah. Probably City's best player, actually, early in the season. When they best were defender, winning. easily. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, spot on. I, I didn't go with Carl Walker. Who did you? And look, I think Carl Walker can have a shout for possibly the Premier League's greatest right back. So I, I definitely rate him. Um, it's not that. But right now, and I think you have to pick Trent. And in this team, we're picking the best Premier League eleven. So in this team, we're going to have the best midfield. We're going to have the best centre backs next to him. It has to be Trent. Like he's not the right back, is he? He's a better player he than Carl Walker, but he's not a better right but back. This season, what we're seeing from him, no other right backs doing. Seeing him playing out of position, though. I, That's how bad a fullback he is. He's having to not play. No, I don't think he's a bad fullback though. I think because. There are others that do certain things better than him. You kind of go, oh, he's awful. At, but he's not awful at defending. He's getting way better He would be getting caught out all the time. He's getting he, way better Obviously, defending. he does get caught out. Yeah. But it's like, I see clips sometimes on Twitter. I can't remember who the defender was. It wasn't Trent. And they were like, someone said, oh, this guy's really good. Hardly ever see him get caught out. And then someone quote tweets it with a clip of them getting done. And it's like, no, every of course defender, you're going to get yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, every, every, every defender you're going to get done. Clip but, but of Maldini was, or Baresi, yeah, yeah. but there's plenty yeah. of Baresi getting twisted inside out by Zola. But, but he like, had clear gaps, gaps in his defensive game and he has improved. I'm not sitting there saying he hasn't. I think he's a far better right back than he was last season. But Carl Walker, uh, it's not like Carl Walker's having a bad season now or, or plateaued. There's an argument he's actually better mm. this season than he's been in I previous seasons. I think Trent Alexander-Arnold is a remarkable footballer, dazzling and, and unique and if you want to somehow, Adam, if you want to get him into this team that we're creating here, I'm not adverse to him finding a position for him in the way that Klopp is finding a position for him. I think it's going to be very difficult. But if you want to try it, try it. But you're not having, you're not not, you're not making this team and leaving Carl Walker out of it. That's impossible. I think it's a fair shout. You have to. I think it's a fair shout. Obviously, I'm out. What's a fair here? shout? That Trent is a close second to Carl Walker, but I think Carl Walker has, he's just come off the back of winning a treble. I mean, that happened I six think months ago. If Pep had Trent and Carl Walker. He picks Trent. If Reese James if was Ferguson not injured, if, if, if Pep Guardiola if had Reese James had Messi, and he wasn't injured, Beckham he'd be my start. grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> if Ferguson had Messi, Beckham <laughs> wouldn't start in 99. Time, yeah. Was it the same yeah, time? But, yeah, but we're doing the butterfly effect. It's all relative, isn't it? Right, so in this butterfly effect, Messi's yeah. got older. <laughs> yeah, but in your butterfly effect, Trent's from Manchester, not from Liverpool. That's not what I said. I said if Pep Guardiola had Trent yeah. in his squad... Yeah. He, with Carl Walker, he picks Trent. He, I don't think he does. All right. I'm out voted, but I would go... <laughs> in my 11, I've got Trent. But in this, we're all agreeing. Yeah. So we're going to a vote and it's Carl Walker. Right. Two centre-halves here. Two centre-halves. Easiest pie, right? Should we start with the obvious? Ruben Diaz. Yeah. I think that's that's one of mine for that, sure. That was that certainly, certainly a case. I, my, the obvious, when I said the obvious, I went Van Dyke. 
I think he he's been incredible this season, so I think he's gone back up there. Mm. Although I think Kanate has edged him out this season. And I know it's not based on just this season, but also last year, he wasn't as good, was he? Mm. I, um, I, I'd say has... Ruben Diaz this season has been, by his standards, mm. allow the, 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 the differentiation of the definition of the word, by his standards, terrible. Mm. Yeah, and then he's come back in the last couple of weeks and been, and been superb. I think he's had a terrible three weeks where he was overplayed. He played about 60 games in the, in the last calendar year. I don't think you can pinpoint a, a real big mistake that he's made in the last few months, like a big, big mistake. The I reason still think why he's City looked vulnerable at various points this season, not now, but if we were having this conversation six weeks ago when City looked vulnerable, in fact, at one point, it looked like the league was beyond them. A big part of that was Ruben Diaz. Was yeah. it not Rodri being out? It was, it was the midfield being very porous. You, you put Maldini next to Nesta next to Beckenbauer in a back five and if they don't have a midfield ahead of them, they're running, they they're running backwards the and they're getting... They still don't. If they, they, yeah, they still need a midfielder. You know, the AC Milan you know, midfields mm. were superb ahead, ahead of Nesta and Maldini, for example. So having Mateus Nunes and Kovacic, you know, and Rico Lewis, mm. they were massive gaps in our season. So I, I don't blame Ruben Diaz at all. I think Ruben Diaz has to go in there a million percent. I think next to him is John Stones. I think, I think he's the best centre-back England's produced in a very, very long time. I think if it's Stones, it's Van Dijk Stones. And and the form that has been on display from Ruben Diaz at various points this season means that he's not in it. Canate's been a better centre-back for Liverpool than Van Dijk this season. Mm. I think this season Canate has been very good. Canate Van Dijk then? No, it's... Um, I think it's Van Dijk Diaz. <laughs> it's Diaz. Diaz is one of them, isn't it? Come on. Diaz and Van Dijk. I think, you know, if Van Dijk hadn't picked his form up this season... Mm. And I know we're not saying it's but better, that, but it's like the whole package. Because then you'd have, I think it is Van Dyke now. Because he's, he seems to have, because there was a time where you thought, oh, that injury's taking it do out. You know, do, you, do you know do you There know was what? a time where you thought that. We're twisting oh, yeah, ourselves yeah. up here. Do you know what? If you're just really rational. What about, about Saliba? This, if you're just really rational. What about Sandro Martinez? Oh, for God's sake. It's definitely not the same. What about, what about Thiago Silva? But did you just say Martinez is a, was it a, like a line? No, these are very good centre-backs. You, yeah, you said one and then you said Martinez. It, yeah, it's class. You started with Saliba. Look how shit Man United have been. Well, let's talk about Saliba. Like, I'm happy to sit here and talk about Saliba. I'll, I'll, sit, I'll sit here and talk about Franz Beckenbauer and his legacy in football is a great centre-back. But I'm not talking about... Time. Yeah, he's, yeah I'm, not, I'm not talking about Lissa, Martinez. It's class. Oh, for God's sake, Rafael man. Varane? No. Class. I think, <laughs> I think look, honourable mentions can go to whoever you want, Adam... I think an, a genuine Bad one. Idea. A genuine we one. To, if we're going to vote. A genuine one is, is Thiago Silva. A genuine one is William Saliba. But you could even say Gabriel. Gabriel's well, fantastic. Actually, as, a, as, up, an yeah, honorable, as an honourable honorable mention. He's incredible, hasn't he? But Goals the answer, as well. The answer is, is a simple Who was your bit. two? Ruben Diaz, Virgil van Dijk. Who was your Virgil two? Virgil van Dijk, number Diaz one of Stones. the two. I had Diaz and van Dijk. So it's Diaz and van Dijk? Diaz and van Dijk, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, again, this is all very, very amicable and fair. Uh, left back. Uh, this is hard. Nominees. There's a left lot of nominees hard. at the moment. Left back's you really got hard. Andy Robertson. You got Zinchenko. You got Luke. Not him. You got uh, who's the who's the other fella? Nathan uh, Ake must get a shout for his uh, Champions League campaign. What's the fella at Brighton again? Estepinion. 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 Yeah. We're talking about the highest standard in the league, and that's why Zinchenko can't get in for defence. No, it's not Zinchenko. It's not Zinchenko, no, no but no. he's obviously a nominee. I think I think on longevity, Luke Shaw gets a nomination for sure. Luke no, Shaw's no, got no, no pun intended. In the God. But there's a shout God. there that he's 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 up there. If he's, he's up there. If, if you know if it's the start of the season, I think you'd possibly <laughs> be saying differently. Because he's been injured for the whole campaign. It's yeah, but I'd say that if, if Ben Chilwell wasn't injured. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. You know. Ben Chilwell would be in this yeah. conversation. He would be, yeah. I'm not denying it. Um, but Luke Shaw, like, there was a point like his first name on team. I know that doesn't say much, but for England and this like is that. this is actually not only an Achilles heel of a lot of teams, but an Achilles heel with the league. Like there isn't, you know, how you look over the other yeah. side, and I think realistically, I can think of five very good fullbacks, very good, mm. full, very good right backs. Over this side now, I mean, my shout will be Andy Robertson. Mm, my vote. I, 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 Mine is two. I had Robertson oh, really? slash yeah. Shaw. Oh, I didn't think this would be. I yeah. thought you were just going to say Ake. I'd say Ake in terms of, I think if Guardiola is managing his theoretical side, he'd, he'd definitely look at Ake for his, because obviously Guardiola wants to play four centre-backs in big games and Nathan Ake was absolutely superb. And he obviously took Carl Walker's place in the Champions League final when he got fit. And that says a lot that he took mm. Carl Walker's spot. What about Udogi? Highest ceiling of a left-back in the league. Fu Which, future. 
been very good this season. But like what, what Rory says is like the people that we talk about, Luke Shaw, who's not played for a long time. Um, who's the other one we talked? Zinchenko has not been great. Zinchenko, yeah. But then you look at Udogi, who has been quite f- fresh. And Adog- yeah. Adogi, yeah, really well. If we were judging this over the twenty games where Adogi has played this season, aside from the few missed from suspension from being sent off, the answer is Adogi. But it's very difficult <clears> for us to say. A guy that's played 20 games is better than a bloke that has been the best in the league in his position for five years. That's kind of why we didn't mention Paro at right back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. <laughs> like, I, I think you could easily go, if you're making it about this season, you're making a team that started mid-August, Destiny Adogi is the left back. If you're doing a team that is actually the best, it can't be Adogi. He's played 20 Premier League games. People go crazy, don't they? No, no. People, people go crazy. Yeah. Like, people, people go... Is is the best? Is he gonna? Is his legacy gonna be better than Ashley Cole? Yeah, Spurs like, wait, fans. what? Spurs fans do. Yeah, yeah, they Spurs do. Fans. Mate, I remember when, when they, did really Ali, mate, they did it with Dele Alli. Dele Alli had one good season. They go, well, that's Lampard's record's gone. <laughs> oh, and Gerard, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. No, I think Robertson, his legacy is absolutely superb for Liverpool. Champions League winner, league winner, and uh, I think Liverpool. Imagine, imagine what they'll be when he's back because they're already fantastic. Yeah, I think the answer has to be Andy Robertson. I but but I think every I think this is the position. You know, if you would say it to speak to the Premier League collectively, you go could do better, could do better at left back. Generally speaking, like everybody could elevate. Manchester United should have. There's a better not many in European football. Yeah, but no, no one wants to grow up being a left back. I think. Weird. I think. I don't know. No, I think that's changing. Yeah, I don't look. I don't know. I don't. I, I just don't changing. think that there's. It's. It's possibly the least rich position. In terms of depth, in terms of in terms of, I think quality. the striker position is an issue as well. But we'll get there in the. No, end. but there's there's a there's in, a in, in Europe one, in European there? football. There, but there's a fantastic yeah. answer to this. Whereas there isn't a fantastic. I feel like there's lots back of centre backs, clear. right backs, and midfielders in European football. We could always pick and keepers, but mm. strikers and left backs for me. But right, moving up then. What's your fr- what? What is your what? I've are your midfield three? I've done. Yeah, yeah. We've all got midfield four, three, three. It's a four, three, yeah. three. What are yeah. your midfields? We don't want to do it like that, though. We want to do no, one, we don't one, spoil one. it. What's, what's your six then? One DM. So I've got, I've got one player that must be in the team. Is his name Rodri, and he plays for Man City? You're half right. His name is not Rodri, but he does play for Man City. Bernardo Silva. Correct. Correct. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva's in the team. No, but not as a defensive midfielder. No, 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 we, no. Not as a defensive DM midfielder. Sorry, no, no, no. I was, I was, I was, Rod- Rodri's in as a six for me. Yeah, we saw last week. We're starting the defensive uh, uh, midfielder, right, in the, in the, in the midfield. Right. So, so obviously Rodri is a you know, yeah, generational I, midfielder. I think Rodri, uh, Rodri is in. From, I found this three, really. I did Rodri. So did I. Declan Rice. So did I. And Kevin De Bruyne. I didn't. I did I did Rodri, Declan, Rodri, Rice... Bernardo Silva. Yeah, maybe we, maybe Bernardo and De Bruyne. <laughs> Mate, it's not De Bruyne. He's been out for ages. Everybody just, everybody's so... F- yeah, but, 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 but out for ages, ages comes back and wins just, again. One game. One game. Ben Chilwell Andy, was out Andy, for ages, Andy comes Robert, back, wins Andy, our game. Andy Robertson's been out for ages and you just said his five-year legacy. Because there's nobody else. But it's not yeah. based because on... There's 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 no, no, there, there is no one else for De Bruyne. De Bruyne's on the great... Bernardo Silva's been holding the fort. Holding the fort, exactly. De Bruyne just decided City are back in his heart race. No, he didn't. No, De Bruyne no, no way. De Bruyne misses his 11. He's the best player in the league, Roars. He's better than Salah. He's a better player. He's a better player in the league. He's a better footballer. He hasn't got a better product than Salah. Better product. Of course he does. doesn't. Of course he, he doesn't, does. He doesn't. He's better at linking Mar- up play. He's he's got an unbelievable long long range effort. He doesn't score the same goals. They're, they're positionally you're, different you're players. They're both played together, by the way. But it's it's weird to be. Like, it's apples and oranges, isn't it? Well, it's, yeah. it's like <laughs> but Bernardo Silva. Kevin De Bruyne has been out. Bernardo Silva has been playing week in week out. Been sensational Silva week in week out. Andy Robertson hasn't played, played the season. But I, mate, can you stop making a stupid parallel? Andy Why Robertson, is it a stupid because, parallel? Because, because you use one parallel it. and I can't. No, because because it, the, the example is because. Uh, it has to be Robertson because nobody has excelled there because it's been Nathan Levi Colwell. It's been, it's been Levi Colwell for Chelsea. He's not. He's not a. Uh, Nathan Ake won the Champions League at left back. He's a, a centre half. Winning the Champions League. Ryan Bertrand played left wing, so we put him in an all-time Premier League level. I he never won said the Champions that. League. No, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yeah. So you've got a player. You went. Well, he won the Champions League. <laughs> yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Bertrand. Like that. Yeah, you you Ryan, Ryan Bertrand. I didn't say it like Ryan that. Ryan Bertrand won the Champions League playing left wing. Better than Giggs. Better than Giggs. He won the Champions League playing. Tell me that. It doesn't make. It doesn't make sense. You've used a metric to. Andy Robertson for five years he's been superb at left back I, I, I bet you're bang on about that I say De Bruyne the last five years basically won five Premier League titles just won a treble he wasn't injured all Canada year he was superb against Real Madrid he's the best player in the league he has to be in the 11 no, he has to, be in the to go back to the par- I don't know I don't know if Mark, Mark, Mark Adams voice I don't know Mark if, Adams voice I, 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 I don't know I don't know 
I'm, 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 I'm coming well. to him. I'm coming to you at that moment. <laughs> You're saying that the same that the that the parallel is the same. You're saying that Robertson at left back being the best over five years and being out is the same as Kevin De Bruyne being out. No, and the reason why there isn't a comparison is because nobody has excelled at left back. If but, there was a player that has played as well as Bernardo Silva has played in the midfield, that was at left back. If Zinchenko had been masterful at left back in the way that Bernardo Silva has been masterful in midfield, I would Bernardo say Bernardo Silva was ex- I would exceptional say in the Champions League as a right winger. He scored the goals against Real Madrid against Bayern Munich as a right winger, right, not a midfielder. Right, but he's a midfielder. He's exceptional. Yeah. So why can't I have De Bruyne and Bernardo? Why is that an issue? You can do that. We're not having De Bruyne and Bernardo. You can do that. I don't care whether you do that. All I'm doing is taking issue with the fact that you're trying to trying to make it ridiculous for me to say. I'm not saying it's ridiculous. You're you're pulling on the you're pulling on the Robertson thing. You're pulling on the Robertson thing. Take the Robertson thing away. Is De Bruyne the best footballer in the league? There's a very very strong argument for that. How many games De Bruyne played this season? It doesn't matter. It's not based on this season. It's not based on this season. But he has. But you have to base it on. You have to. You it has to factor in. So you're going to leave out Bernardo Silva. You're going to leave out Bernardo Silva, I'm who's not. played every game this season. I'm not. I am, yeah. You're going to leave out Bernardo Silva, who's played every game this I season am. and been sensational, to put in Kevin De Bruyne, who, 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 by your reckoning, got Man City in a title race. One yeah. game. How many players in Premier League history have been injured for six months, which only six months, not a year, two years, six months, and Wait, we can mean, still say they're the best mean, player? Only six months, not a year, two years. Uh, six months is a huge injury. We're talking about the best Premier League 11 months, in the last four six years. Six months out is what huge. What time frame do you want? Three years, two years, one and a half years? I don't see how, I don't see how with, any, with any good conscience you can, you can make a Premier League 11 that includes a player that has missed the whole season and doesn't include a player that has played like in a mesmerising way for the entire season. Well, last season I've, he played I've not 49 done that. games in a season. You're literally ignoring what you're, I'm saying. I'm I want Bernardo and De Bruyne. De Bruyne's the best player in the league. Has been for five years. But, but he hasn't can't. been the best player in the league this season. How can he? you? How can we do a Premier League eleven and De Bruyne's not in the eleven? How, can, about that? how, can, how right. can you do a Premier League eleven and put him in when he hasn't been playing? Great players have been injured season, bro, still say they're the best player in the league. Declan Rice has been playing week in, week out, last minute winners, doing everything for his team. He has to be in. All right, we Bernardo have to go, Silva, to go to a vote. Bernardo Silva You're never going to agree, so Bernardo it has to Silva, go to a vote. But we haven't finished discussing it. Bernardo Silva has been doing it week in, week out for his team. Kevin De Bruyne hasn't. But he does, man. He has up to, up to he May the 24th. Season before he did. Why do you discredit someone for being injured for six months? Season before that, he did. For six months at the because start of the last calendar year. Because super. in that period where he's been out, other players have made themselves indispensable yeah, but, to this so team. So what? So Declan Rice for West Ham for half that season. And what, Bernardo winning, Silver, winning silverware for West Ham for the first time since 1980. Is there not yeah. a reason why? De won the Champions League. For the first time since 1980. And then obviously didn't play again. Is there not a reason why that Man City, who had Bernardo Silva, didn't look like winning the league? Or didn't feel like they could win the league till De Bruyne come back. Here's the difference for them in feeling like they can win the league. I don't know. We put loads of Man City players. We put loads. That, the, no, no, the, same, the same impact could be had if Bernardo Silva was out for six months and then came back. I'm they, not they, sure they it is the same impact. If, if, obviously, if both are missing, it's a huge impact. But let's say De Bruyne is available and Bernardo Silva is... It's ludicrous to leave Bernardo Silva. I think you could argue... Who, who, who is leaving him? them out? I'm not leaving them out. There's yeah. no, by this logic, we're not going to have them both in the same team. So Why? you're going to have to pick one. Why? They've played in the same team together in midfield together. The point, have and De Bruyne's a better player. Declan Rice has to be in this midfield, I think. Declan Rice obviously has to be in. So you got Rodri Rice and Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri Rice and one. That's why it's one. Kevin and that's why it has that's to why be Rice has to drop out because his level's not been at the highest level. He's barely played Champions League football. It can't this be his first Rice. season in Champions League. It can't be Rice missing out. Premier League midfield. So you're, the I'm one just, just for clarity, you think that Rice is a worse shout for leaving out of a side than De Bruyne in the, in the yes. Premier League? For, yes, I do. Over the past 12 months, yes. Yeah. Rice hey. has been better. I agree with, I agree with, you, you, yeah. What? His, his right, the way he's well, worded that. De Bruyne's an so, all-time so, great so in the league. So hang on, Declan Rice, <laughs> Declan Rice, Again, played we brilliantly for it, West Ham right? United, won them their first, first trophy since 1980, captaining them to that. He then moves for £100 million and plays brilliantly makes himself totally indispensable to Arsenal is the reason why Arsenal are just about in with a shout of winning the league elevates his game uh, dictates the tempo of Arsenal finds himself as a different player reimagines himself last minute winners that sort of thing and we're leaving him out to accommodate a player that's missed six months of the 12 months that we're... And we're, we're seeing we spectrum started of what you video. just said about West Ham. They, yeah, they won a great trophy. I love the fact they won that. You also need in the same relegated. time span, De Bruyne scored an unbelievable goal at the Bernabeu in the Champions League. And they also nearly got relegated. Um, but we also started this video by saying it's not n- necessarily based on this season's form. Or no. lack of if you're injured, therefore. So why is it a problem to pick De- Kevin De Bruyne? Well, by that logic, then... <laughs> 
Kevin De Bruyne over the past we can have months, different has played six months. We just have to agree on one. Kevin De Bruyne has played six months of twelve months. Bernardo mm. Silva has played twelve months of twelve months. So we're only doing it on form in the last twelve months. Are we doing it in three years, four years? What is the no, time? No, I'm just. Time I, I, well, look. If I think, if, I, I, I think, think if form, De Bruyne I think was Reece available, has to come into it because if recent yeah, form doesn't come into it, then fine. Then then Declan Rice probably isn't in it. If you want to do it over five years, then then it's Van Dijk. There should have been no debate about Van Dijk. This is this is a ridiculous framing of a conversation. Okay, we want to do it over five years. <laughs> Sadio Mane, bring him in. I'm just saying five years because we used best other, Premier League okay, team over the three last years. Five what about three years? Sadio Mane is going to be on the. So, but on we the we agree at the start of the video it isn't about form. Otherwise, you do you would be in. You made a good be, point about him playing be. twenty games. So it's not a year. Yeah. Do you agree it's not it's, a year? N- so what is it? Two years? No, three years? Five years? What is it? I'm just He hasn't done it for a year. Exactly. That's what I'm he's saying. Done it, he's so done it for twenty games. No, it can't be twenty games. But it can obviously be. This is the best eleven rules for the Premier League in the last three four years. It's an abstract amount of time. Whatever. Remember the space jump thing. The aliens are coming. We have to play them. Who you picking in your midfield? It has to be Declan Rice. Like that's non-negotiable. What's your midfield, Rory? Declan you Rice. Forget Boovy. Declan Rice, Rodri, Bernardo Silva. Boovy, what's yours? De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. With? Oh, with Rodri. So just mine, the Man City midfield. Mine is Rodri, Rice, and Kevin De Bruyne. It's not bias, is it? We won five Premier League titles. Well, we in need last to six agree. Years. I, think it's, I think it's still. I mean, I don't know if it's bias or not, but. This, it, we applauded Rice for doing well for West Ham. They came 13th in the league last season. We both voted season. for Rice. Decided Rice is first in. in the league. Yeah. First in the league. We've both over voted over for Rice. So Rice is in. We've all voted for Rodri. So Rodri's in. But only one and of us you voted, voted for Kevin De Bruyne. You voted for Bernardo Silva. Yeah. And you voted, you voted for both De Bruyne. Yeah. De Bruyne. Yeah. So Bernardo no, Silva wait, doesn't make... He's tied still. He's yeah, tied. Two for De Bruyne. Two, two. No, two for De Bruyne and one for Bernardo Silva. Yeah. No, just two for Bernardo Silva. Because he got both of them in. No, but now, now when he has to choose between no, De Bruyne and Silva, he's putting in he's putting in De Bruyne. Oh, is that what he's doing? Of course, yeah. All right, that's our midfield. So that's it. Uh, and then the three up front: the Sadio Mane on one side, <laughs> Harry Kane, Harry Kane through the middle, and Mohamed Salah on the other side. Perfect. I think Mo- Mohamed Salah is the only. Well, I think there's two non-negotiables in this. It's Mohamed Salah and Erling Haaland, right? Yeah, easily. There's ver- there's actually easily. very little conversation to be had about either position. I don't. Think. I was quite. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't surprised because you expect it to happen, but I thought it was a disgrace that Erling Haaland didn't win the Ballon best player at the FIFA best. And the Ballon d'Or. And, ba- and the Ballon d'Or, yeah. yeah, yeah mate, the, that time. FIFA best was ridiculous as well. They left Harry Kane totally out of it <clears> to accommodate Lionel Messi. I think yeah, like Lionel Messi isn't, shouldn't even be nominated no, for his no. last year's performance. Uh, but the to keep it on the World Cup twenty twenty two, so twenty twenty three. To keep it on these three up front, it's Erling Haaland. It's Mohamed Salah, and then there's one position. You know who I'll put on my left? Go on. Marcus Rashford. <laughs> okay. Well, 30 goals last uh, season. Yeah, it's not okay. Uh, it's definitely, definitely not that. It's Marcus Rashford. I, I mean, this is the best I don't side believe that you, you want. Know you even like back? Marcus Rashford? You know the How same thing about like left back? back? The way that he's played. You know the same thing at left back, where it's, it's Marcus mm-hmm. Rashford. There's not that. Prior it's to this season, Phil Phil there's, there's a real argument for Phil Foden. Foden. There's a real Foden's argument for Jack Grealish. Maybe for uh, Diaz from Liverpool. Maybe. I know he's mm. been injured. Not Diaz. Son, Diaz Spurs been can than play that position mm. better than Rashford. Son's better than Rashford. Obviously. We'd, have to, we'd have to do a 10 minute segment on it. We could no, just, no. Say, we could just nah, nah. leave it at Son. It Son's, be- Son's a better. <laughs> Son's infinitely better footballer than Rashford. Not better. Oh my God. What's happening? What's happening? Is it like a loser? Bro, Rashford's cycle? class, bro. We've been shit this season. You know Granted, what I mean? Rashford's class. He's got 30 goals not, last season. Always Four of the last five opinions. seasons always prior to this. Over 20 Sonny's goals. better than Rashford Ten assists, in every, every metric. season. Nah, mate. He's not. It, it, he's it. not. I can't think of one I thing. I mean, you both agree, but it's fine. But uh, trust me, Rashford's class. I think it has to be Hummin Son. Season. I, think it, I think, annoyingly, it has to be Hummin Son. Based on this season as well, he's been very good. Especially for... He wasn't very good last season. He was... Yeah. You know, there's a lot of players that miss out because there's no number 10 in this. Like the it, Madisons it, it, and the world yeah. and the, Foden missing the answer out. is potentially Phil Foden over that side or Hun Min Son. And I think Foden, it's just is about Foden out of position. Yeah, he's out of position yeah. a bit. He, he played right wing last season at points, midfield, left wing, false nine in the last what three or four years. It's... Do you know what? The answer is Hun Min Son. Yeah. yeah. And with and you can give an honourable mention to Jack Grealish and to Phil Foden over that side. Martinelli. Maybe. I'm just based on last there. season, yeah. He was so bad this season, man. Yeah. What, three goals? Oh, yeah, he scored goals. a couple the other day, didn't he, late, but I think it was two up until that point. So four. Um, I think Diaz for Liverpool is super as well, but, but you know, it's, it's hard. And um, who's the manager? What's the 11? Wait, what's the 11? That is... That we've, the round up the 11. 
We got an, an editor to do that, graphics yeah, and all that. Graphic. No, but it's good, you know, yeah. sum it up for the people at home. Alison in goal. You've got, uh, we had Carl and Diaz. Walker, Carl, Walker, I got Di- Carl Walker, Diaz, Van Dyke, Van Dyke and Robertson. The midfield of Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Rodri and Declan Rice. The front three of Salah, Erling Haaland and Son. And Min Son. <laughs> There we have it. Marcus Fashion on the bench. Uh, 